Hello, <clears throat> and welcome back to Rage 1. Um, I seem to have lost the ability to change the info on this, so it's probably showing up as Rage 2. Anyway, um, so this is another in the series of redubbing uh, old episodes because my audio did not record because I had the wrong mic set up. Uh, this time, I got a little bit of a gimmick. Uh, I am two apple ciders deep. Uh, I'm on my third apple cider. Maybe that'll make me more fun. Maybe it won't really make a difference. I don't know. It's hard to say. But anyway, let's get back to some more Rage 1. Last time, uh, we made it to Subway Town. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we came to the, the, the Blue Line subway area to... Uh, take down some some mutants i think so we'll see what uh what happens with that take it away past me except you won't because you make no sound and i have to make the sound for you i don't am i playing up my drunkenness or is this actually how i am i don't know i do not know at the moment let's go all right okay will the will the hud go away okay good all right Uh, so if I remember correctly, I'm actually like lost at this point. I don't remember exactly how to <laughs> get back out of here and get back to town because I think I've more or less um, completed the mission at this point. I'm pretty sure. Um, I could be wrong. I'll get moving here. See what uh what's happening. And why can I not? It's really weird that OBS isn't giving me the stuff to uh, change my thing, and I, I can't figure it out at the moment. Let's let's just focus on a uh, on rage. Oh, yeah, very uh, very classic uh, rage moment. I feel like just a bunch of mutants running at you in a hallway. Oh, they're evaporating into green goo. Do they always do that? I, I don't, for some reason, I don't remember it being green. Hmm. Kind of a kind of a weirdly cartoony effect too. I feel like, and it's not like this game had to be censored. Like obviously not. There's, you know, blood and like people exploding into bits. Man, I am just a terrible shot. I obviously just not pointing the gun at the enemy, pulling the trigger, hoping somehow they get hit. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm really used to uh, like really strong auto aim, uh, and maybe rage just doesn't have as much of it. I don't I don't really know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Got to plant the dynamite because right because the mutants are, are supposedly getting into the city, and I'm using the dynamite to collapse the tunnel so they can't get in. I'm pretty pretty sure that's uh that's how it's going. Uh, okay, for so I feel like every time I walk into this room, I feel like there's gonna be a big battle, but I think at the moment all I really have to do is walk over there and hit the the dynamite plunger. Of course, I'm gonna. You know, take all the time in the world getting money that I honestly don't need. Like, there's, I feel like there's not that much of a money sink in this game unless you like really want to invest heavily in like spider bots and stuff. Especially late, late in the game like this. Like early game, you probably have to buy ammo several times, but oh, the plunger's not working. Okay, man, <laughs> you kind of enhances it that this is like so far after the fact to be playing it because. I've genuinely forgotten some of these aspects, like the like the, the plunger not being good to go. Um, I think I remember. I think there's just like one place that I forgot to put dynamite, and I'm gonna spend forever looking around and not figuring that out yet. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go look up there where I think that's where I had that battle earlier that had the the the, the big boy with the minigun. It was the rocket launcher. 
He was a big guy with a big gun. Uh, that's that's the important part. You know, loot some more money out of these ATMs. Not ATM machines, as apparently a lot of people say. But the, you see, the pro strat is the the M stands for machine. So you're calling it an an automatic teller machine machine. Which now I'm thinking about like machine machine would be a cool like band name or something, but it's definitely not like what a device is called. There it is, that last little piece of dynamite. And now now the plunger should do its job perfectly. Man. Getting the stream set up, I feel like, sobered me up a bit because I feel less drunk now than I did a, f a few minutes ago. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh... I forget what these mutants are officially called. What am I calling the Kraken? Because I'm pretty sure that's what the Mutant Bash TV branded them as. Although fighting two at once seems kind of brutal, but at least, uh... You know, there's a lot of stuff to hide behind in this arena. Well, that slime effect is brutal. Like, I feel like in Mario Kart, getting hit with the, uh, the, the, the blooper ink, like, isn't really that bad. Because I feel like most of the time you can s see around it fine, pretty much. But man, that, that goo is, like, over so much of the screen. And also, the rest of the screen is blurry, so you can't really see anything at all. There I go with my amazing marksmanship. Now, a lot of the hit effects in this, I'm noticing, like, getting hit by the mutants, like, that's a pretty intense, like, blur effect. Weird little jump there. Not sure why I did that. Yeah, I love the way that the, the mutants, like, jump around and climb on the ceilings and stuff. I wonder... It's like, I mean, back in the day, that, that would have been, like, pretty advanced behavior for an enemy, right? Like, all these different, like, mobility strategies and stuff, I feel like... When did this game come out again? Like, 2011-ish? I mean, like, I'm trying to, trying to just think, like, are there any other games I know of from that era or earlier that did stuff like that? Like... I guess some of the stuff in Bioshock, but I feel like that was very specific enemies that might have been in like, you know, very specific circumstances where it was just like a set script of, oh, you climb through the ceiling here, not like, oh, they have these mobility options that they will dynamically use. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I've played Bioshock, and of course I don't know much about its development. Um, but, man, I'd be really interested to know more about the development of rage i've probably talked about this before but maybe it's in the episodes where the audio didn't happen um like i'd be interested to know like the process they went through of designing the behavior of the mutants because i feel like they are some like very interesting enemies behaviorally behavior behaviorally 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 that's how that word is said okay maybe i'm still drunk Um, and I feel like in, in Rage 2, I feel like we've kind of lost that. Like, I, I don't think there have been enemies, like, jumping around, climbing on ceilings and stuff like that. That's interesting. <laughs> and maybe there's something I'm forgetting with, like, the regular type of mutants, but I feel like... I feel like, you know, the, the behavior of, uh, you know, the authority and the bandits are all, like, relatively, like, standard. Like, you know, they run up, they, they shoot you, they get behind cover, that kind of thing. Which, I mean, I feel like that kind of, like, AI has been around since at least Half-Life? Pretty sure the original Half-Life enemies would hide behind cover and stuff. Oh, it's been a while since I played that too. But I, 
I feel like they, they had to have done that because I feel like a lot of Half-Life was, you know, kind of trying to put more realism into, like, you know, helping convince you of, like, this, like, cinematic journey you're on. Because, I mean, stuff like enemies fighting each other, I feel like people have brought that up as, like, one of, like, the de defining, um, like, behaviors in that game. And while, like, I know that's not necessarily built on the same kind of, you know, code or whatever as, you know, ducking behind cover, I feel like, you know, that sh should probably be, be in there. I don't know. I, uh, let's, let's report back to uh, uh, Mayor Redstone. That's his name. The really ostentatiously dressed dude. Hi, Friday. Uh, or am I supposed to return to? No, I'm probably I'm probably supposed to return to to Redstone, right? Because this was like the mission to prove to him that that you're you're a valuable asset to the city or whatever. Because Redstone runs an aristocracy. Thank you. It was it was it was my forte of work. Okay, now we go back to Redstone. Hey, Hi, Clint. You is that the same line that, that the Friday just used on me? Are Clint and Friday both flirting with me? Is Nicholas Rain into that? Is Nicholas Rain bisexual, perhaps? Okay, Grandpa Max. Sounds dangerous. That, uh, that tattoo on his head like almost looks like it's raised up I don't know if it's like a like a decal that's been applied or if like if there's like some kind of scarification now maybe I'm just misinterpreting the texture I'm seeing there but it really looks like the uh, the dragon is is raised up I, I think here I'm just really appreciating his drip like he's got like the the, the leopard print shoulders and the, the the studded leather and the sheriff's badge and the, the huge dragon belt and the the like metal tooth necklace and the cross it's it's a wild look like honestly like this might be the most Mad Max looking design in the game I mean so some of the the Maybe some of the bandits and possibly the mutants fit that very well as too. But this, is, he's got like that very just ostentatious look, like, like he's just throwing stuff t together because it makes him look different, and that shows that he is like elevated above everyone else. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll go find this Dietrich person, maybe? Maybe not. Where is Janie's supplies?
I mean, Gearheads are some of the strongest bandits, but honestly, they're not that bad. I feel like the Authority's worse. Am I trying to find Janie's supplies? Because I'm pretty sure that's upstairs. Uh, no, it's it's not not by the racetrack, or uh, I don't think I was paying enough attention. What's the uh, <laughs> what's the main quest right now? Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Uh, that's the goal, sir. Alright, is there anyone with a quest in here? I heard you're the one that took care of Jones and Mutant. Oh, that is true. Like Captain America. That's good for me, I guess. Uh, I, I really wanted to play darts here, but apparently it's not a, not a, not a, not a, uh, a, a feature. Holland's got nothing to say to me. You got a job, Rourke? Is it just me, or does Rourke kind of look like... Uh, uh, Ricky Starks from AEW. I mean, not like like super super looks like him, but like you know, there's I think there's a bit of a resemblance. All right, yeah. So Janie's supplies is like, oh well, yeah. Management. This is this is how you get to the Gearhead Vault. I'm pretty sure. Did I did I want to go to Janie's? No. Okay. So in retrospect, now that I'm thinking about it, is the Gearhead Vault really like the hardest level in the game? Because I don't recall the authority base or whatever like really being that bad. Oh, there's Dietrich. Hi. You're very uh, German. Is he reading a comic book over there? You see, I've encountered some challenges at my chemical plants, and the word on the street is that you are someone who can get things done. The job itself couldn't be easier. My distillery factory runs itself. All you will have to do is find my empty chemical bottles and just put them into the main distillery. Then all you do is wait for them to fill. Couldn't be easier. Someone with your special abilities is up to date. Well, obviously. Uh, very good indeed. You can find the chemical plant north of town. You make it back, and I will give you something very, very valuable. So, he calls it chemicals. But then he also says it's blue shine. Yeah, I think I'm trying to figure out if it's a comic book there. Now, Blue Shine definitely sounds like some kind of alcohol. And, I mean, it's in a distillery. Um, and, honestly, I think the place we get it from kind of suggests that it's an alcohol. So, why is he calling it chemicals? Like, was there some reason he wasn't allowed to say it's, it's a drink? Or... 
is it really just actually some kind of chemical cocktail that like is just meant for science but they gave it a name that sounds like a drink that's weird um have i already been to this the the, the, the distillery i don't know this might be my first trip to the distillery i just remember there's like there's two quests there that are basically the same thing from what i remember you just you know enter through a different way and kind of go through different parts of the the distillery to get to the thing but then it's just it's just protecting the 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 bottle wall fills up both times i'm pretty sure and the distillery is just right here <laughs> right right there man it's the open world maps in this game are so weird because like you know the first part of the game when you're in the e eastern wasteland i want to say like i mean it's not really that like worthwhile of an open world but there's still like you know a, a decent gl gl gloria gl gloria i don't know what that's about but um you know there's like like jumps to do there's like the satellites to to to, to ram through um so there's like somewhat of a level of like collectibles and like to some degree you know you, you can explore not that there's really much to find but i mean there's at least like a decent like it's it's got like a decent size to it even if it is you know confusing to get around um but i feel like this northern wasteland i think it is like there's just this little bit around subway town and then there's this the relatively straight shot to uh the authority base so i don't Again, I'd be really fascinated to know about the development of this game. Like, unfortunately, I, I don't think, you know, it's it's popular enough or interesting enough to enough people to, you know, for any company to warrant, you know, making a documentary about it. But I would be fascinated. Like, if I ever had the resources, I would probably be trying to hit up, you know, people that worked at it Software at the time, people that worked at bethesda that might have been like overseeing it or something i i don't know how hands-on bethesda is or, or has been with its software but you know as one of the like five people that really like this game it is just fascinating to me a lot of uh the decisions they made both in like you know core concepts and in just how things developed because it's 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 a weird game like looking at it from the outside it might seem like kind of like whatever and you know generic but i think you know if you've really played through it and really just taken some time to like look at a lot of the stuff in it like it's got a lot of weird little details that i think you know come together and really give it its identity but that's not like clearly evident from just glancing at the game. I think there's only mutants in this level, so I shouldn't really be that worried. What weapon am I pulling out here? So I just want to use those fat boys I picked up on the shelf. I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a 
dilapidated distillery. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> he just just really yeeted himself through there. Uh, I think I think Pasteur was scared by that, but I I don't know for some reason it didn't it didn't uh, get me this time. All right, yeah, jump in there, boy. Is this coal? Do you have coal in a distillery? I mean, I guess if if, it, if it's chemicals like uh, like Dietrich was claiming, you're definitely gonna want to be able to create fires to like cause chemical reactions. But is there is there heat involved in beer brewing? Maybe I I, I don't know anything about how you brew brew beer. The, the closest of my knowledge is in, uh, in like, I want to say, like, season two of Shameless, when, uh, when Frank is trying to brew, like, the ultimate beer, he's throwing, like, like, wood chips, and bacon, and all sorts of stuff, and just, like, this vat in, um, uh, his girlfriend's basement. I forget, I forget what her, what her name is, but, uh. Karen's mom. I can't remember her name. They had like a really generic last name, I feel like. I don't know, but 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 yeah, those just those scenes where, where Frank is tossing stuff on the bat, that's that's like the extent of my knowledge on how beer is brewed. I'm not really a fan of beer. That's, what, that's why I'm drinking the cider tonight. I like the taste of cider. Um, but I've yet to find a beer I like. Well, I guess that's not true. I guess there's some, like, uh, some Goza's. I remember back in college, there was a bar I'd go to sometimes, and there was um, a Goza I could order there that was pretty decent. Um but I've tried some goes of sense that just haven't really hit the mark, and I don't know if maybe it was an atmosphere thing. I guess, I guess an an atmosphere can kind of change how you're feeling about, you know, what you're eating, you're drinking, you're smelling those kind of things. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not like that well versed in alcohol um but there are several things i've had in like it so i, I def definitely don't like the the vast majority of beers i've had uh i, I like ciders uh mostly had apple ciders but i feel like a, a pear cider could be good um maybe pineapple cider i'm not sure um margaritas i, I like margaritas fairly well um oh there's a there's a drink called a caprobrosca that i like uh, i should look up the recipe because from what i remember it's like not that complicated to make i can't remember what kind of alcohol is in it but it's got like like some muddled lime and simple syrup and maybe like one other thing in addition to alcohol so it's like you know pretty simple and from what i remember it was just like pretty tasty um I haven't really liked any wines I had. Uh, there were a couple of like high quality wines that my mom got at one point that I tried a little of, and I was like, "This is okay, but not like something I would seek out or really would, like care to drink more of." But uh, yeah, I think that's about the gamut of my uh, drinking experience. Uh. Oh, uh, well, no, I guess I've had a couple of, like, like really sweet mixed drinks. But, like, at that point, like, I'm just in it for the sweetness and it's totally, you know, covering up the alcohol. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, and I've had a little bit of rum and coke in college. That was okay. Not that big a fan of coke. Used to be really big into Diet Coke. Um, but then when I started cutting back on sodas, I started really thinking about, like, what am I drinking, I guess? Like, maybe not to the level that some people would. But I was just thinking about it, I'm like, what does Diet Coke really taste like? Or, like, regular Coke, or Pepsi, for that matter. Like, it's just, like, a flavor i i don't really know um so I, I very i pretty rarely drink um you know any kind of coke or pepsi diet or otherwise these days i'll have the occasional diet coke um like if there's not really like other options like uh at my work we have a fridge full of like drinks and sometimes you know when supplies are getting low there's not that much of a choice um, or sometimes, for some reason, I feel like Diet Coke just goes really well with Mexican food. So if usually I'm out at, like, a quote-unquote authentic Mexican restaurant, um, I'll, I'll get a Diet Coke. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mostly don't drink it anymore. Um, I still will drink Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is, like, my favorite soda. Cheer wine's also really good, but I have that more occasionally. Um, sometimes, sometimes Sprite, Sprite's all right. Um, I mean, that's most like, uh, occasionally if I'm like getting like fast food, like later and I don't want to have the caffeine and stay up but i'm not feeling like sprite i'll get like a like a diet fanta uh that, that, that's that's decent and apparently fanta just doesn't have caffeine um but yeah other than that like i've, I've really cut down a lot because I, I realized i was drinking like at least like six sodas a day if i remember correctly and i just like that's a lot of sugar a lot of caffeine i don't know there's probably other stuff in sodas that really aren't aren't good for you so i've cut back i haven't totally eliminated it. i don't think I, I would ever totally eliminate soda um but yeah so it's, uh, I've, I've limited that much soda i'm drinking i've mostly replaced it with Lacroix, which we also have in the uh fridges at work um which i mean you know ultimately you know if if my health wasn't a factor here I would not be drinking LaCroix much at all because I'm not, it's just not that tasty to me. There are a couple of flavors that I, you know, I, I, I can deal with. Some of them I just hate though. Like, um, oh, the worst is cherry blossom. Oh, it tastes like, like they put a, a flower petal in the, in the water and just let it wilt. It's disgusting. I like like the, the the black raspberries all right um limoncello i'm like how does this have no sugar it's so sweet i like that one um lime is okay lime is probably like my my lowest one that i will drink can't stand pomplamoose lemon is just like too light of a flavor for me anyway <laughs> uh Hey, uh, I'm playing Rage in the past. Um, I mean, I, I guess you know the conversation is appropriate because we are in the the distillery. Although it's it, even the quest objective is calling it chemical jugs. Although I've always been under been uh, uh, always been under the impression this is alcohol. That's a weird computer. A big old like dial button on it. Uh, I wish I could read lips because it looks like I'm going on some kind of crazy tangent here and I just have no idea what I was talking about. Uh, these stairs just bring me back to where I already was, right? So there's no reason for me to go down here. Now I've got to go back up.
am I what am I looking am I looking for something or am I just trying to kill time while I'm ranting I I do not know Whew. Um, I don't know. Did I not know I was supposed to fill them up? Did I think I was just retrieving them? I I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Defend it from the mutants. Although, do the mutants even attack it, or is this really more of just survive until it's done? Eh, now I feel like that was kind of a bad place to put my camera. I'm, I'm really like covering up a lot of the, the gun animation there, huh? Well, I think uh, at this point I, I'm pretty decided I'm not doing camera anymore. I just don't like like th this will catch up at some point during Rage Two if you're watching this on YouTube. But I, I just started feeling like I I did some. Uh, like not recorded streams just me casually playing some borderlands because that was you know kind of just all i was into for a bit there but i wasn't doing it as like a playthrough not a stream playthrough anyway and i was just doing those without camera and i just i don't know i don't feel like the camera's that much of a value add for me Yeah, what weird quest is I that you just have to defend the same thing twice in a row? <laughs> Ooh, he did like a whole like flip over that. He's like doing some some like crazy wrestling wrestling maneuvers off the top rope. I really like the the noises that the uh, the mutants make. It's like kind of like a pig noise, but not quite. I mean, that is a lot like squealing. I mean, for all I know, they literally just took pig sounds <laughs> and put them in the game. Uh, there could be people. I don't know. I mean, you got. You can have voice actors like D. Bradley Baker out there who I feel like played almost every animal in 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 uh, my childhood, like uh, like animated films. Like I'm pretty sure he was like Momo and Appa in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, he might have been the the fish in Chicken Little. Just like any time they were like non like non particularly verbal animal sounds i feel like it was often him and then he was also just the clone troopers in star wars the clone wars <laughs> like like oh, oh, okay d bradley baker just just go off being your your, your very talented self time to cl climb the b b b broken ladder I don't know if I realize I can climb it yet because it looks broken. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, look, buckets. Why are there hanging buckets here? Are they, like, collecting rainwater? Or are they trying to get alerted when people come in? But that doesn't even seem that useful because you can easily dodge the buckets. I don't know what the hanging buckets would be for. Maybe it's someone's idea of decorating. That looks like something I could collect, but I guess I can't. Alright, this is back at the entrance, so I've seen everything here. Am I just now remembering that this is the entrance that, I, that I've been here before? Yeah, okay. I can't, no, 
Yeah, it's, it's it's the same kind of gimmick all these levels have where, you know, the end of it wraps around at the beginning, but it's like a, like a ramp up and then a drop off so you can't go backwards through the level. Taking these jugs of blue shine up to our old pal Dietrich. Man, they, I feel like they went really hard on the cave design for all the, like, two caves in this game. There's, like, this one, and then the one at the beginning of Scorcher's DLC, and then I feel like that's it. Like, like why couldn't we have, a, like, a whole, like, Skyrim Blackreach situation where there's just caves under both maps? That would have been kind of sick. Maybe if, they, maybe if the game had been successful enough to get a second DLC, it could have been something like that. Ooh, that texture popping. I mean, yes, I've been shooting a lot of things. I mean, I haven't really had that great of accuracy, but... Is everyone in this town flirting with me? Is everyone in this town just really lonely? I mean, that may be kind of... Well, I mean, they've got all each other, and I feel like, you know, they, they could, uh, you know, seek comfort in each other's company, so... Oh. If that's a secret, my friend, it is very valuable. Regenerative infusion? Oh, is it just a just a healing item that I'm never gonna use? <laughs> yeah, it increases health regen for several seconds. I feel like it's weird that health is just like, you know, totally regenerative and like their Call of Duty style, but they still give you like healing items. That, that's interesting, but I feel like they could have even gone harder with it if they really wanted to. Whereas, you know, in the second game, it's like your health doesn't just auto regen all the way. You've got to like collect Feltrite and actively engage in combat, you know, which really works well for what they've tried to do with that game. But. So she said her name's pronounced Janny, but I'm pretty sure it was a game earlier who was saying that Dietrich's behind the store. Didn't he say her name was Janie? I think he did. Um, but I think when I came in here, I have a vague memory of saying that she reminds me of the, the little sister character from, from Heavenly Sword. She was also like, you know, kind of cat themed, I think, if I remember correctly. Am I gonna sell her uh, Blake Griffin? I mean, am I gonna trade Blake to the to Dodgers? Are Blake and the Dodgers even in the same sport? I have no idea. Am I gonna do it? Am I? Sayonara, Blake. I'm pretty sure I can go see see him in the uh, the trophy room from the end of the Scorchers DLC. I think the other all the other bobbleheads show up there. Uh, wait, did I just? Oh no, this is buying. Okay, I thought I remember what there. I thought I uh, sold um, my my clip extender or whatever for the shotgun and I was like hold up but now no, I just bought it is this the point where I sell the um the monocle for the pistol because I don't want to use it like a sniper rifle anymore which 
ching, 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 just, just buying up all the shotgun ammo. I mean, I guess, you know, I kind of need it. I use that shotgun all the time. Advanced wing sticks. Oh yeah, the toxin that make the uh, the mind control bolts. Why is she selling blue shine? Does that does that really make sense? I mean, I guess if Dietrich is is brewing it, he's probably distributing it, and maybe Jenny's his distributor. I don't know, but it seems weird with him. I, I guess because it was the he gave me the formula. I guess that's what he's saying not to let people know about. Promoting open-mindedness was the description for the sniper rifle ammo. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, it, it, it honestly does open up people's minds. I think, here am I like talking about that the pulse shot is good because I'll be taking on the authority and I can like shut down their, their shields and the, the, the like barriers and stuff. That's probably what I'm talking about. Bye, Janny. <sighs> Past me, like, zoomed by too fast to see, but it kind of looked like on the faces on the wall, one of them was the Doom 3 protagonist. Like, just, like, a, a picture of, of just in-game... Um, visuals of him i don't know if it actually was but i, I that feels like the kind of uh, easter egg they do in this game Am I looking for like uh, secret passageways or something? Because I don't think there's much of those. What am I doing? Hey, hey Jared, I don't think you're going to find anything down there. Just, uh, you know, continue on with the mission. Oh, I hear the music box. And I'm trying to figure out where that is. I don't think I ever figured that out. I don't know if that's like a hidden quest line or something. Yeah, the bottom right there kind of looks like Doom 3 Doom Guy. All right, here we go, Gearhead Vault. Yeah, the circuitry on the door kind of looks like a like a Christmas tree. It's a it's a it's a circuit tree. Get get it? Oh, this is the level where I can get the uh, the Doom secret. Thank you, very Russian man. Do I have lock grinder for lock grinding room? Thank you. Hungry like dog. Certainly not me. Your 
Now, you really just don't like being here, do you? How did they hear me from that? Oh, they've got a turret. From what there was like, oh, I'll just switch to my uh, my acid damage and deal with it. There's, there's no acid damage in this game. I'm playing a lot of uh, Borderlands and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I got that on the brain. <laughs> I guess in Wonderlands they call it poison damage, but, you know, it's the, the corrosive, pretty much. Why am I using Pulse Shot? When did that happen? I think it's, I still haven't noticed, like, like past me has not noticed that that's Pulse Shot. It's interesting. And that guy just died to, uh... I was gonna say blunt trauma, but I guess getting shot is not really blunt trauma. He, he got, he got, he got dead of being hit in the armpit real too hard. I butchered that sentence, but that's okay. Ooh, that was like probably one of my worst defibs. Like, did I just hit the button like as soon as it started? Jesus. At least if you miss a defib in this one, you just you know have to wait a moment and you're fine. <laughs> Man, it is so hard to see that enemy way over there. You know, through the the dust and the god rays and maybe even just the distance in this like semi dark park parking garage. Did that guy just hit me from like around the corner of the car? What is this, wanted? Yeah. At least he peeks around just enough that his uh, his head's exposed and I can, uh, can open his mind. <laughs> well, I'm not using a sniper rifle. I heard the uh, the sound of the the turret. And here it comes. Man, what if there was an action movie with, with a gunfight like this? <laughs> just one guy standing in the middle of the arena, and another guy just like pops out, shoots at him a bit, and then shoots back. Oh, that would be a terrible action movie. Well, I don't know. I feel like, actually, now that I think about it, if it's like an 80s movie where like the guy is like Arnold Schwarzenegger is just standing in the place and then, and then someone pops out and like tries to shoot him but just misses every shot and then Arnold just shoots him, that could actually be pretty funny now that I'm thinking about it. Mind us control us. Oh, 
Is this gonna do much damage to the uh, the turret? It doesn't look like it. I forget. Is are there explosive bolts in this game? Because I feel like they're gonna be a decent alternative to the rocket launcher and would actually probably have a bit of uh, different uses. Man, that that like durian <laughs> filter on mind controlling someone. It's intense. Okay, I think I think it's dead and I can finally advance. Oh. oh, I think I just remembered this is one of those missions where I died and had to repeat a bunch of it. I think it's coming up pretty soon. Embrace yourselves, y'all. I want to say it's like right up here actually <laughs> death is imminent unless I'm wrong but I don't think so I, I feel like it was on that ramp Alright, well I actually took care of that guy pretty handily. So maybe I won't die here? Eh, I guess I, I survived better than I thought. That's, that's the mark of a true wasteland survivor. A, a real killadilla, as they say in Rage 2. Hi. You have a, a lamp on your shoulder? What was that? That's a, a weird uh, accessory. Man, I still feel like I die soon, but like. I have one defib charge ready to go, the second one's almost done recharging. Like, what happens here? Oh, I feel like this, this bar had a funny name. Keep an eye out for it. Uh, is there actually a sign with the bar's name? Comets for idiots. Hmm. Is that how everyone got set up for for what Apophis hit? <laughs> they just read that book. <laughs> Mmm, Cola Kong. The the drink of of, of apes. Yeah, just just gonna break my ankles real quick, no big deal. The old bank. Is that like the the brand? Like how there's like like you know like Capital One or whatever, is it just called the old bank? Or was it like it was just the bank, and then and then and then like thirty years later they built the new bank, and they're like, well, this isn't the bank anymore, so we'll just you know we'll just spread the and bank apart, slide an old there. It's the old bank now. Is this how it ends? No. Man, my, my battle strategy is not, uh, 
There is sound. Who would have thought that, you know, just running up in front of someone with a gun would lead to them shooting you? I mean, our tacticians are, are baffled. Getting close to a guy with a gun means he can't shoot you, right? It's a ranged weapon. <laughs> I thought electricity was coming out of that tree for a moment. I was like, what kind of crazy tree is this? Oh, so is this... Is this the only tree in the first game? I'm trying to think, like... The closest to signs of life in other part, like, um, like plant life... In, earlier in the game is like the random flowers you can occasionally pick and then like that tiny like swamp next to um, Crazy Leonard or whatever his hut so yeah, I think this is the only tree in this game that, that's kind of interesting and it's like inside a building and only kind of getting some sunlight huh Very weird. <laughs> to serve mutant. Like, is that in like a, um, like you're serving like mutant meat for dinner kind of way or is that like you are a servant of the mutant hmm? i could see other way and i think i made that exact same joke back when i was playing this like i was probably saying that right there all right come on just pop out a little more there you go. Oh, sorry I'm yawning so much. I think the, uh, the alcohol's made me sleepy. That's not an effective way to take cover. What are you doing? It's a good thing I can't be, like, set on fire and just take a bunch of damage over time. That would be devastating in this game, I feel like. Because, I mean, like, with the with the auto-regening health system the, that this game uses, like, I feel like it's, it's like your health pool is really small, actually. But that, you know, it's offset by regenerating, so it's like, you know, sustained fire will kill you. But you still will kind of like live, you know, if you just take little bursts here and there. As opposed to like, um, I mean like Rage 2, if you're never getting Feltrite or anything, just, you know, like random bursts here and there will eventually kill you because your health's not coming back. Yeah, years ago I was really down on like, like pretty much all aspects of like Call of Duty style design. Um, but but now like these days, I what did I just do an infusion? I don't know what that was about. I wasn't paying attention. But um, you know, I I think like things like you know like the health system. It's not necessarily bad. It's just it's a different way of doing things um and if you leverage it properly it could be you know really cool i think you know i think there's a, a lot of times where even in like a bad game there might be a, a mechanic that you know to some people you know might just get lost in the mess of everything that's bad um but it could be something you really need to you know you know, put in the right context or just tweaked a bit could be, you know, fantastic and really fun. But 
that guy just like did a flip as he died. That was that was weird. <laughs> we got uh, all sorts of acrobats here tonight. Why were there just machine gun rounds out on the table? Was that like the people were having it for dinner? Yeah, this is a weird little elevator. This had to have been put in after the fact, right? Like, you know, this wasn't here when this was actually an operating bank. I'm probably just looking for, for more lootables. Although I'm not sure why I'm coming all the way back here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let us continue. And where are you? I'm getting shot and just picking up money. <laughs> like a like a true survivalist, maybe? I don't know, I felt like I had a joke there and then and then my mind just kind of was like, no, I'm not gonna give you any material. <laughs> Well, soon you're gonna you're gonna see my buckshot. Is that, is that a good uh, uh, action movie one-liner? I've, I've been trying to to workshop my uh, my, my action movie presence. <laughs> I'll be be the uh, the next Bruce Willis one day. You just wait. This might be what kills me. No, really, not even that. Wow, they were, they were very generous in not shooting me at the end there. Like three guys on me, and I got, and I ran into a wall instead of actually getting away from them. Wow. I feel like it took me a while to realize that guy was even shooting me. My my reaction time is supposed to be impaired, like in the in the in the the current time when I'm drunk. I was not drunk when I was playing this initially. So how did I pick up on it before I did? Why am I shooting pulse shot at this guy? I am not dead. Suka, isn't that what they say in that one Beatles song? Um, is it I'm the Walrus? I feel like there's a part where, where like it's kind of like a, I don't know what the the term for different parts of music is, but it's like a kind of instrumental part that like sounds very different from the rest of the song, and and one of the Beatles is just like Suka Suka, Suka Suka, something like that. I don't know. I'm really bad at like describing pieces of music off of memory, so. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if, if no one recognizes that. That man, though, he had some huge wrenches in his backpack. Those were enormous. Like, what is he fixing up with those? The Iron Giant? I feel like Suka 
<laughs> Suka has to be like some kind of like word for like someone you don't like, like um, like that 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 M F or like like that that kind of energy to it. Now I'm trying to see if these are the computers for the Doom Secret, but they are not. I remember exactly what that room looks like, and this ain't it. So get a move on, Pastor. Here we go. Ooh, it's this room. I don't even feel that tired. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Man, those screens are very low resolution. Oh yeah, it's it's only the keyboards that are down on the desks for some reason. It's interesting. I don't think I noticed this previously, but that sound effect when I'm hitting the keyboards, that's definitely a sound effect from Doom. I think it's like the in, the invincibility power up wearing off or something. Or maybe when you get the invincibility power up, something like that. Yeah, and then and then it made the that snarling sound and uh, I remember this fight was difficult at least. Did I even kill that guy? No, I think I assumed I did, but he was fine. Yeah, if you let these guys get into this room, you are just toast. <laughs> yeah, okay, good thing I, I ran over here. That'll give me some space. I have no rockets. Switch weapons! Oof. I'm honestly a little. I don't even remember going down like twice. I mean, how did I lose all my defibs? Oh well, well. Starting that mission completely over. <laughs> oh wait, I have a save in there? That might be when I first got in there, though. Probably. <laughs> and it's not even in the vault, it looks like. That's like. Why does that save say it's in the vault if you're still in Subway Town? That's that's, that's misleading. But yet yeah, we're we're here again, here to here to take on all these these uh, angry Russian bandits. I'm way ahead of you, brother. <laughs> And now for a rerun of your favorite hits like what grinding that door, fighting those enemies. Maybe this time I'll, I will actually realize what kind of ammo my shotgun is using. And the back of his head didn't even look protected. Come on. Nope. Really, that big a blood spatter and he ain't dead. Really.
Well, do I have the option of speeding this up? No. Uh, let's see, because at this point, like, it's just going through the same content again. Um, so I think I'm just going to zoom ahead to where I get back there because I, I, I don't, I mean, I'm just literally doing the same thing over again and yeah, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saving to make sure that I don't, um, you know, get thrown back again, blah, 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 fighting the same dudes over again, climbing up that thing, turning the fire off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get back to the room with the computers? Okay. Okay, so I set up a turret to help take down these guys. Using pop rockets against them. Oh, I had two turrets. One of them's dead now. But, like, they haven't even made it to the doors yet. And I feel like, yeah, they made it to the doors pretty, like, by this time, last time. So I think I've, I've done much better repelling them. I think that other guy's dead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I did much better at this fight this time. Collect the parts for my fallen comrades and fallen foes. saving to be prudent because that was a very difficult battle the first time how dare you call me that word that I don't know what it means I was almost making like a sword sound when he swung it Oh yeah, this room where like the blades will just kill anything that go through them. And there's nothing behind there. I don't know how the the science works on that. Like if lightning hits the outside of like a like a, a casing for something, would it power the circuits within? I don't think so. This thing should be like decently insulated or something along those lines, right? Like if I if I just went and like tased the outside of an airplane, the the uh, propellers wouldn't start spinning, right? Or the the turbines, whatever. Are they turbines? Probably. Jet engines, whatever. Like, give me that power cell. Pop those rockets. Heck yeah. Man, I feel like that would be like a pretty brutal way to get fought like you're, you're in like this really heavy armor that should be protecting you from most things but this guy is just literally like shooting grenades at you and like even if they're not exploding your flesh they're hitting you with so much force and just knocking you around in this suit of armor it's like you're you're like in a sardine tin that's just getting like like shaken <laughs> Uh, you might not want to stand there, dude. <laughs> I told you. Or maybe, was that because I sniped? No, his whole body disintegrated. That wouldn't happen because I sniped him in the head, right? Oh. That guy was in a very uncomfortable position, but I guess he was still alive.
Uh, he got past the turbine, dang it. Or the propeller. Whatever. Oh, oh, no. I was hoping to get that environmental kill, but it wasn't meant to be so. I'm not sure, but the, the power-up sound on that almost kind of sounds like a, a door going in, in the original Doom. It's, like, different enough where I'm like, I don't know if it was, like, intentionally the same, but it, but it kind of sounds like it to me. Like, it almost kind of sounds like a modernization of that sound. Oh, hey, more trees. Why is a bank the place where trees are growing? Yeah, that dude's still alive. I was like, why am I taking time to loot? <laughs> it looks like I, yeah, I'm back around to, to pretty much the beginning. Gearhead vault pretty much cleared out. Well, I guess I still gotta go through the parking deck and everything, but it shouldn't be too bad, right? There are so many of these dudes. The gearheads were like, oh, we're like the the last bandit clan you fight in the game? Word. We're just going to throw a bunch of the strongest units at you in every room. <laughs> Go, my little robot spider boys. Oh, man, they're taking some heavy damage. Maybe this is where getting advanced spider bots would have really come in handy. So I have to assume that's basically just they have better health and better damage. Not sure what else they... Maybe they have a different weapon type? Like they have rocket launchers instead of machine guns? I don't know. I think I was totally missing with those. Even though realistically I probably shouldn't have. But maybe the, you know, the hitboxes aren't quite what they look like they should be. You know, just saving after every encounter at this point because, like, I don't want to deal with those guys again. Oh yeah, and I hit the computer so the Doom Room should be open. It's not that one. It, did I not do it? No, I heard the sound effect. Well, I heard the sound effect on my first... I didn't really take the time to check to see... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. The Doom Room. I, can, I don't know why they made it so awkward to get in here once you open the door. But here we are. The very first level of Doom with the original music. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting here like bobbing my head to it, and I, I see I'm like I'm actually moving to it <laughs> in the past as well. Yeah, I got a little D Doom guy trophy. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really go much of anywhere in here. It's like literally like just this room, um, but that's that's still pretty cool. Oh, that reminds me in um, 
Wolfenstein The New Order, there's uh there's those missions where you can go to sleep and like play through levels of, of you know classic Wolfenstein 3D as like your your like nightmares. Oh, I think it's like set on like like a really high difficulty or something. I remember not that being very successful playing that um, those parts of that game. I don't know. So how how do you know that I was actually fighting the bandits? Like, were there cameras set up there and y'all were like watching this like TV, or was it just loud enough you could hear it echoing through that hallway? I I don't know. Why does it kind of sound like there's like a distant alarm going off? Like an old school like like firehouse alarm like ringing the bell or something. Someone lied to you, man. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Is it okay for that to be sitting there smoking on your desk? All right, I'll do it. I need to do this for me. Get those damn gearheads off my back, and I'll give you free reign to do your business in my time. We see eye to eye on this. Mm, as much as we can, yeah. We got a deal. Now, a little advice. That cocoon on your lighter, it's not going to last long against what the gearheads have working for you. I want to see about getting something with a little more fight in it. Okay. Wait, I have to kill the gearheads or you're going to kill me. Is that what you're saying? That doesn't seem fair. Man, it seems like I should be able to jump up places like that, but like, I'm just like a few inches too shallow, I guess. Blue Line Station again. There's a thief after my blue shine recipe. I need someone to track him down and ensure he doesn't discover my secret. I was told that he learned about distillery and struck out immediately. Please, someone stop him before he ruins my profits. If you stop him, you can take whatever you want from the distillery. Now that's honestly probably um, Dietrich that posted that. But I don't know, just blue shine, moonshine, like, I feel like I had to read it in a southern accent, come on. So there's a thief after my blue shine recipe. I need someone to track him down and ensure he doesn't discover my secret. That's probably not a good German accent. The authority are setting up an outpost in the old gearhead vault. Isn't that great? Well, actually there are better places to live than the old gearhead vault, right? Perhaps someone could kind perhaps someone could kindly suggest they look for a better spot. You could even shut them shut Stop moving it! They even shut down their mobile generators to help them pack. Help the authorities shut down their mobile generators to earn the standard movers fee. Did 
going back to the blue line station I guess because of course all the side quests are just going back to main quest areas they're going to be slightly differently organized and I don't know why I've suddenly defaulted to this rather southern accent but that's just kind of what's sticking right now so we're going to stick with it let's uh, let's just get on down to that station y'all into the, the oh this is the eastern wasteland I was calling it the northern earlier and the other one I was calling the eastern I do believe but this one is in fact the eastern wasteland uh, did I forget where the blue line station is I think I did where where am I going am I not looking at my mini map okay there we go Man, that, that city up above Subway Town looks so huge and like there could be a lot going on, but you never go there. Like, part of me almost wonders if like this part of the game was supposed to be a lot bigger and you're supposed to actually go up there and do stuff. And like this like Eastern Wasteland was supposed to be more on the scale of the, the other Wasteland. Nor I, I think it's Northern, I think, because I, I distinctly remember there being a Northern Wasteland, so that's probably what that is, but... I almost have to wonder if, like, this was supposed to be, like, a much more significant, like, this is, like, the second half of the game, not the second, like, fifth or something. They just had to, to, to cut it down for budget and time or something. Again, I, I want the documentary on the development of Rage. I think it would be really fascinating to me and maybe, like, two other people. I almost wonder if uh, it'd be worthy of like a Matt McMuscles what happened video. Maybe? I feel like it's not really like the kind of game he usually covers though. So these guys were like, oh, there was an explosion in the tunnel? We need to live there. I don't know, maybe it's just like, oh, hey, the mutants are gone, and the subway town people probably aren't going to come down here again, so we can just, you know, come in here and take the place, but no, they, they sent their old, uh, old pal Nicky Rain to take care of them. That was a, a terrible defib. I totally, totally missed with that uh, that wing stick. Okay, See, that was like a, a, a backflip when I killed that first guy. So many acrobats that I'm killing tonight. It's just a stationary turret. Why is it so powerful? <laughs> it, 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 it just got flipped around like it was cardboard when I hit it with the pop rocket. Wow. don't do much to, to you know prevent myself from taking damage huh this was something I was kind of cognizant of when I was playing but now that I'm like a passive observer like wow <laughs> good thing I, I never claimed to be good at this game or any game really Oh hey, they're they're friendly guys here. That's nice.
and anytime you have like any sort of allies in this game that are actually engaged in a fight they don't they don't last very long you really i guess they really do you know kind of to, to talk in more wrestling terms they they kind of you know job out to to put you over to show that you're uh you know you're actually really strong able to take on all these like mutants and bandits and things whereas you know normal people barely last pulse shot man how many times am i gonna <laughs> switch to pulse shot and not know it and apparently throw grenades at things that aren't even around anymore like i just didn't realize that was that was dead yet Okay, who's paying the water bill for this place? Or, like, did the apocalypse happen so sudden enough that the water lines just never got turned off? But at the same time, how is it so running? Because I, I feel like, aren't there people, like, you know, maintaining the water or, like, the pipe systems down the road would have been corroded or something? Like, how likely is it that you could just have water spewing out of, like, toilets and sinks? in this situation like something about that just strikes me as like unlikely to, to like actually happen sniper rifle getting some of the most action it's seen in days <laughs> I don't use sniper rifles much in games, but when I do, they are very handy, it seems like. See, is there, is there another secret I can activate with these computers? No, I guess not. Is that another turret? Yeah, I, I saw that out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, uh, is that gonna shoot me? And indeed it did. Okay, yeah, I, I guess explosive damage just really does a lot to those guys those turrets now, I saw that the gun over here was flashing could it I wonder if would I just jump on it like a turret section or would I loot it in some way like I don't know would I get like uh, assault rifle ammo out of it Just uh, slowly walked around to take cover from that, didn't he? Uh, shrouded you two. Didn't the gearheads buy up all these guys? someone came through here and restocked all the ATMs because I'm pretty sure I looted them all the first time I came through here ok 
can't open up on the bathroom stalls. What if there's items in there? Um, bye. Isn't this, uh, this is about where, where this episode started, isn't it? Yeah, because, yeah, because we started with finishing up the, the original Blue Line Station quest. Look like I'm making a really good point there, but uh, okay, looks like it looks like I'm signing off here. Yeah, okay, uh. So there we go, uh, that episode of Rage finished. Um, still feeling a little bit of a buzz, but honestly, I, I wasn't uh, as drunk as I was, was kind of hoping for, for this episode, but, but that's fine. So yeah, so um, it's, a, it's another episode of Rage filed away with audio. I think there, there's only like two episodes left, and one of them is like really short because I didn't realize how close to the end of the game I was. So yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I've been Peanut Buffer. Uh, I hope you're having a nice night and continue to have a nice night. Have a nice weekend. Have have a nice week. You know, just I hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you're uh, having good times. And um, I'll be back at some point, uh, hopefully to finish up this game. Definitely to play more Rage Two. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else that I need to uh, sign off with here. So uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.